project so we replaced two lower cowls on the car um, both which was rotted off originally we did talk about that in the past I think I might have showed it in one of the other videos I'm pretty sure I did if you go back and watch one of the older videos on the channel you'll see that we did a lot of work um, behind the scenes getting the cowls prepped and ready the lower pieces to go on in the car but uh, unfortunately we didn't record a lot of that stuff so um, we have a lot of photographs we'll probably put those up on our Facebook page um, anyways, we're going to bring you along today for the cut and weld and grind and all that good stuff, the dirty work on Christine on the lower cowl sections. So we're going to go ahead and get to work. We're going to bring you guys along for the ride. So let's get some tools and let's go. All right, we're welding away today on Christine. We got the front lower cowl section all ready to be going on. This whole cowl section here was completely gone. There wasn't really nothing left to this one, just like the driver's side. Next up will be the rockers. You can see underneath, rockers all gone. There's one of the floor braces in, inside there. Rockers are all gone. So right now we're gonna be focused on welding the center cowl in. Get a peek on the inside. What we're looking at, this will all be welded in here. Get the lineup marks in here. All shaved out, got a little tiny piece to put in here yet. And then this uh, rocker here we cut out. It's actually up underneath there. You can see it clamped together in there. And that's gonna be for this piece of the rocker here. So we're gonna put some tacks in that real quick. We got the get the gap lined up nice at the bottom of the door. Of course the door's not shut right, but the gap's nice. Got a clamp inside there, so we're just gonna set that here. And I'll adjust this a little bit. And we'll get some tacks in there. So bear with me a second.
taking it around to the driver's side here where this cowl was bad. You can see we replaced the lower cowl section. And now I'm replacing this top lip. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, lap weld this for extra strength. Um, this is already clamped in. You can see we're going to weld right along here. We'll weld along this seam here. Make that a nice solid seam. And then we can take here and we can just push this flush and lap weld all this. Which is just going to help for strength. Then I can grind that all down. This all gets covered by the fender anyway, so I'm not going to be too crazy about it, but I'm really excited. I mean, I used some 18 gauge steel right here, so I think it's going to be a little, probably overkill. But um, for a structural point like that, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it. I think it's going to be good. Um, I'm going to pull it off yet and put some uh, welder primer underneath the bottom of everything there where the metal makes metal. And um, then we're going to go ahead and, you know, uh, We'll prime the whole thing once we get it all welded and, and fight, ground them down and stuff like that. So um, let's just add another piece to the puzzle. One piece at a time. Okay, we just welded this whole lower cowl piece on here, all along here. So that's all. And we're just grinding this down, smoothing this out a little bit, getting it ready for the finished filler um, and primer and all that good stuff. I mean, obviously, we got some steps to go yet, but just gonna go ahead and grind this down a little bit. Um... They're here and they're freaking cool. Now is your chance to sport your very own Street Freaks Garage gear. With hoodies, t-shirts, red cap shop shirts, and the very cool old school red cap pub jacket. Hoodies and tees available in both black and lime green. Beanies and caps are coming in soon and don't forget, you get a free decal with each and every Street Freaks item ordered. Isn't it time to get your freak on? Order yours now. Oh, this belt tool from Harbor Freight. It's freaking awesome. This is it's got the half inch belt, totally adjustable. And what's cool about it is check this out. I'm trying to show you here. You release this, and the whole top swings. I can put this in any direction I want to grind with. Makes it super super nice, and you can lock it in. That's good to go. Just put it wherever you want. Like that. Tighten it up. Good to go. Look at that. It works pretty good. I'll tell you, that's really amazing for areas where you can't get into very good. I can't get the four inch grinder in there. But man, it really smoothed that out nice. Sorry, I'm whacking the tripod here. But see, it really does a nice job smoothing it out. So it comes with all different variable belts, so pretty cool. So we're gonna go around the other side of the car and get the other cowl piece welded in all the way around. And um, we'll take you around a couple pieces right here. Real quick. Oh, bear with me a second here. Release this door. All right. Take you around this side here. You see, did all this. This whole bottom was all rotted out, this top lip, everything. I still got to do some sanding in here yet, but this was just here for falling ground. 
Um, I do want to get in here and grind this weld a little bit better in here yet, but this whole lower piece was all replaced. And you can see we did the whole lower cowl right there. And put the new cowl on there. Lower section looks nice. Pretty happy with that. This is the passenger side. This had a big, I'm not sure if you remember from previous videos, this had a big hole right here. Rotted right into the cowl, big hole. And it actually went all the way in through the internals. Uh, that was rotten too. So did some patchwork inside there. I'll show you that in just a little bit. Um, had to redo the top piece here a little bit. Do some patchwork on that a little bit. And we had a little pinhole right there that we filled in. Um, overall though, man, it turned out really nice. I'm pretty happy with that. We'll go ahead and put some seam sealer down here and seal that up. We're going to go ahead and, I'm going to grind these welds out of here yet. And I'm going to go ahead and weld this whole side up here and grind all these down and get that all nice and smoothed out all the way back. So yeah, that's what I'll be working on next. Take in and show you this. And this has just been tack welded in at this point. Um, you can kind of see this piece here. This was all rotted off the car right here. All the way down into here where we put the new cowl piece in down here. It's a new cowl uh, intersection of that. Uh, I'm going to come and grind these out a little bit, make them look a little bit more factory. And go from there. Get some little pinholes to fill in yet that I want to fill in. And get some seam sealer on this and get this all ground down, weld it in good. And I'm going to do some smoothing on all these edges to make it look a little bit better. But even though it'll all be hidden, um, I don't like to have it look like it's been matched. So, try to come as close to factory as we can. That's what I'm going to try to do. Very good. All right, let's turn this baby on. And let's get some more tacks on here. See what that looks like once we get that all ground down. So we'll bring you back when we get that all ground down. Get the welds all ground down. Turned out really nice. I'll try to zoom you in there. So we can stay behind the light here, but get it all ground down. Welds all look good. Nice penetration on the welds. That looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and move inside now and do some of the welding on the inside. I don't know if I'll be able to get you in the inside, but I'll try and see what I can do. I'll try that and see what happens. <clears throat> All right, let's do some tack welds in here. Get this tacked in. Again, I hate welding left handed. We're gonna see what we can do.
that's gonna do it. That's gonna do it for that, I do think. That's not too bad. I yeah, can live with that. We'll grind that down, see what we get. All right. Let's uh, try grinding some of this down. Yeah, I apologize for the top of my head. Give me a reflection in that. We're gonna grind this down. Okay, so the last video got cut a little short since it tipped over. So as we started grinding on all that uh, patch we put in the corner there, this is kind of the finished product here after it's all ground down. Um, all back to the way that the hole should be in the cowl. Even with a little notch, you see a notch out right over in here. That's actually the way it is factory and it's actually the same way on the driver's side. So we wanted to make sure and get that notch in there. We could have just ran a straight piece all the way down and I thought about doing that. Really, no reason I shouldn't have done that. Just kind of, I don't know. I get kind of fussy sometimes about doing what the factory did. So that's what we did. We notched it out. So just call it good. So I do want to go back and uh, with the Dremel and round the corners a little bit. Again, useless to do. But to me, um, I just like to look a little bit better. So I'm going to go right back and round those out. Probably just because that's just... I just get like that sometimes. I just got OCD or something, but um, you gotta put it back to the way it was supposed to be. So um, yeah, so anyways, that's that. And I'm really hoping that that notch out right there and the cowl, that bump out and the cowl right there, I really hope that that's for speakers. Cause I'd love to put two speakers in the front. Yeah, so. So yeah, we are making progress. We're finally getting the front of the cowls on which means the next step, um, we got that rocker cut right there. So the next step will be to um, get the inner rocker in on the passenger side. That's our next step. And you can see we got this one all cut and released. Um, extension cord at the door here. Let me get that all cut and released. All along there, right into the back area that's all cut. And that's all getting replaced. So we have a lot of bracing on the car. So that's all that square tubing as you see. We have to save as much as we can of this piece right here. And I'm going to zoom this out just a little bit. As much of this piece as we can right here. We have to save as much as we can. Now the new rocker comes up right onto this line right here. And rides along here, the outer rocker. And then there's a the whole outer piece underneath that goes all the way back down the quarter. Um... But what it doesn't have is this piece here that dips down, over, and back up. So this one isn't really that bad right along here until we get into here. Which here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a new piece for here and cut this along here. Bend me a new piece for right there. And just weld on to that and extend it right on up to the front and get that all welded in right to the front. And then you can see the new rocker will line up very well with what we put in. You can see that it's kind of got it all bent down now, I'm leaning all over the car. But it'll kind of go like that, but I'm gonna do under bracing under here and make sure it matches exactly with the rocker the way it did from the factory. So um, the under bracing and weld those all together. And that'll be good to go. I got a little tiny piece I got to do right here yet. Um, when we put the cowl section on, we kind of cut this off and shouldn't have done that, but live and learn. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that. Whole new lower section cowl on the passenger side. It was cut off from another car and graft in. All from here down is all new metal off from another donor car. So... And then we have the patch up in here that we had to cut and form for in there. So recap again, driver's side cowl, completely all from here down, all replaced. Everything was completely rotted away on this side. There was absolutely nothing for a cowl here at all. So this was all kind of done off measurements and fitting and more measurements and more fitting and more measurements and more fitting. And anyway, fender fits great. Perfect right where it's at. 
bottom of the gap is nice, so I like it. So we're good to go. There you have it. There is another follow-up video on Christine. So there you have it, guys. That's going to conclude this week's episode on the progress on Christine project. We went ahead and walked you through today how we took care of the cowl, the lower cowl sections on the driver and passenger side. We appreciate you guys tuning in and checking it out. We have a lot more metal work to do on this project, there's no doubt. We have all the floor pans to replace and bracing underneath the car. And eventually we're going to get to the episode here where the car will go on a rotisserie and be flipped upside down so we can get at some of this floor work from the bottom and do it right. So walking you through today what we did, um, replacing the two lower cowl sections, the intersection here. Um, not bad for a day's work. Like I said, the cowl sections are one of the most common problems on these vehicles. We wanted to walk you through it because it's really just a really big thorn in the side for this project because it's one of the most critical areas of the car, of course, and we want to, we have to have the cowl sections to do the rockers and to get them on nice and straight the way they're supposed to be. But with the cowl section, it basically requires a whole lot of cutting, fitting, on the car, off the car, on the car, off the car type of thing. So it takes a long time to get these lined up just right. Um, they do set the pace for the door gap lineups and the rockers uh, that's going to go on next. They do also set precedence for the fenders, the lower bolts for the fenders on these cars too. So it's really critical that those lower cowl sections are in just the right spot. So a whole lot of measurements later, a whole lot of cutting and welding, grinding and all that good stuff uh, that everybody all likes to do is uh, done. So that particular part right there is done. Our next section, like I said before, we're going to go ahead and work on this inner rocker on this side, get that all tacked in. Um, so we have some structure out here. Then we can start working on the outer rocker. Once we start working on that, we can start working on some of the floor bracing, some of the floors, and then we can get this frame up underneath this thing once we've got some strength back in here and we can get this body off this frame. Which will bring us along for as much of the sheet metal work as we possibly can, or as much as we remember to anyways. So we'll bring you guys along um, and uh, see what you guys think of the journey, follow along. If you guys got a project out there you're doing, be sure to drop us a line, drop a comment down below. Let us know what kind of a project you're, you're working on out there. If you're doing similar work to this, if you see something that we're doing and uh, something maybe we can do better or have a suggestion for something we could try different, by all means, drop it in the comments below. We're always welcome for new advice. We always listen to new advice. Um, and that's how you learn things. And in some of our other videos you watch on the channel, we show things that we've learned from other people. And it's always cool to learn from other people. I mean, that's kind of the cool thing about the internet. So uh, once again, thank you guys very much for tuning in this week's uh, episode of Street Freaks Garage, update on the Christine Project. And uh, we hope to see you all tune in again next time. So once again, like and subscribe. And uh, we will see you guys next time on Street Freaks Garage. Thank you guys very much once again for tuning in. Take care of yourselves, stay safe, stay cool, and peace. We'll talk to you guys next time, guys. They're here, and they're freaking cool. Now is your chance to sport your very own Street Freaks Garage gear. With hoodies, t-shirts, red cap shop shirts, and the very cool old school red cap club jacket. Hoodies and tees available in both black and lime green. Beanies and caps are coming in soon, and don't forget... You get a free decal with each and every Street Freaks item ordered. Isn't it time to get your freak on? Order yours now.